Leadership Styles by Katie Soik. Goals. By the end of this video, you will know why leaders are so important and their significance in nursing. In this video, you will learn about four different types of leadership, and you will also see three different studies to help determine what they found in regards to best leadership styles. Importance of leadership. Leadership is an important function of management. Leaders help maximize efficiency among staff. Leaders initiate action by taking ideas and turning them into actions and then relaying them to staff. Leaders initiate policies and procedures for their unit. Leaders motivate by encouraging staff with economic and non-economic rewards to help motivate them. Staff that are motivated are work harder and better. Leaders provide guidance. A leader provides guidance to their staff by teaching them their roles and how to work efficiently and effectively. Providing guidance is not only a way to supervise, but also helps create confidence within staff members. Creating confidence. Creating confidence is very important. Leaders can help build their staff's confidence by explaining to them their roles so they can work more effectively. By effectively doing their job, staff will have a higher level of confidence. It is also important that staff has confidence in their leader. This can be built by making sure to listen to employees with regards to their complaints and problems. Building morale amongst staff helps increase the cooperation amongst employees and increases their productivity. Building morale in employees will help them work to the best of their abilities because they are working for the unit to help achieve goals. Building morale helps by earning staff trust and continuing to do the right thing with effective communication. Building a work environment. Leaders can build up a work environment by listening to the concerns of staff and addressing their problems. Leaders should treat all staff with respect as to set an example for how staff should be treating each other. Lastly, coordination. Coordination can be achieved by following through with plans on the unit. By having organizational goals, the unit will know what goals they are trying to achieve and all staff can help to achieve those goals. The significance to the nursing practice. Nurse leaders influence how their employees relate to their patients and each other and also how strongly employees commit themselves to their roles as caregivers. Nurse leaders engage in the process of decision making linked with actions taken in the face of complex and uncharted clinical situations for which no standardized solution exists. Nurse leaders are challenged at times with dealing with ethical problems within the healthcare field. Without nurse leaders, all staff members would need to be very aware of personal and patient ethics. By having a nurse leader, they can help guide their staff and their patients to help make the correct ethical decision. Different types of leadership styles can have a huge impact on not only nursing staff, but also patient outcomes. Nursing styles will be discussed later on in the presentation. Changes in nursing leadership have been underscored on creating safe environments for patient and staff, identified by the Institutes of Medicine in its work on medical errors and patient safety. By having more nurse leaders, patient safety and has gone up with medical errors going down. Task of leadership. Leadership tasks help form what a leader is supposed to do in a clinical leadership position. Leadership tasks can help prevent professionals from losing sight of practical behaviors that are needed to put ideas into practice. Gardner's leadership tasks show what nurses should be doing to help their staff. Gardner has 10 leadership tasks he thought were important to the nursing leadership role. Gardner believes that 90% of leadership can be taught. The 10 tasks of Gardner leadership task model were envisioning goals, affirming values, motivating, managing, achieving workable unity, developing trust, explaining, serving as a symbol, representing the group, and renewing. In a clinical position, envisioning goals involves visioning patient outcomes for a single patient or family and assisting patients in formulating their vision 
of their future well-being. Affirming values in a clinical position is assisting the patient or family to sort out and articulate personal values in relation to health, problems, and effect of the problems on the lifestyle adjustments. Motivating in regards to a nurse leader in a clinical position is relating to and inspiring patients and families to achieve their vision. Managing is assisting the patient and family with planning, priority setting, and decision making, ensuring that organizational systems work in the patient's behalf. Achieving workable unity involves in assisting the patient and family to achieve optimal function to benefit transition to enhanced health functions. Developing trust is keeping promises to the patient and family and being honest in role performance. Explaining involves teaching and interpreting information to promote patient and family functioning and well-being. Serving as a symbol involves representing the nursing profession and the values and belief of the organization to the patient and family and other community groups. Representing the group is representing the nursing and the unit in the task forces, total quality initiatives, shared governance councils, and other types of groups. Lastly, renewing involves providing self-care to enhance the ability to care for staff, patients, families, and the organization that you serve. In this PowerPoint, we will discuss four types of leadership. The four types of leadership that we will discuss are transactional or autocratic, transformational or democratic, situational, and laissez-faire. Transactional or autocratic leadership. Autocratic leaders can be good in situations where decisions need to be made quickly, like in an emergency. Autocratic leaders make all of the decisions and their employees must follow what they say. A positive of autocratic leadership is policies can be, can be implemented immediately because staff are not taking a vote on the policy or procedure. The leader is making the decision to implement the policy or not. Generally, all employees know their role and they know what is expected of them. The negatives for autocratic leadership include a high potential for power abuse by the leader because they hold all of the power. The leader can overlook expertise outside of their own knowledge. They may have a great employee and they may not even notice it, and that can create a low morale in followers or in employees because the employees feel like their contributions aren't recognized or appreciated. Transformational or democratic leadership. Unlike autocratic leaders, democratic leaders bring their staff into the decision-making process. Democratic leaders encourage staff to share their ideas and opinions, like the saying that two heads are better than one. In a democratic-run facility, ideas are generally more balanced and creative solutions are more often found because of all the ideas that are taken into consideration. Staff become more involved, more committed, and more invested under the supervision of a democratic leader because they feel appreciated. Democratic leaders can make decisions a little slower because they take time to get input from their staff, and input can sometimes be negative because newer staff or other staff may be giving input on stuff or situations that they don't have proper knowledge about. Liaise fair leadership, also called free reign. Liaise fair leadership focuses on the staff having free reign. This type of leadership is useful when the staff is highly motivated because the leader provides little to no supervision. Leaders that lead with a liaise fear mindset set objectives and then the employees are free to do whatever is appropriate to accomplish the goal at hand. This type of leadership can in increase employee satisfaction if those employees are highly motivated. This type of leadership is not good for employees who need structure from their leader, like a new grad, for example. They might do better with a democratic leader who will mold them to how they see fit for the unit. Situational leadership. 
Situational leadership has been around for a long time and is found to be quite helpful in nursing because nursing care is such a dynamic process. Situational leaders deal with each circumstance differently and decide how they would like to lead based on what needs to get done. Situational leaders will be both autocratic and dem democratic, but also laissez-faire. Situational leaders are able to bend and become moldable to the situation at hand and change their approach based on how they feel the situation should be handled. Research Study 1. There are certain types of leadership that are more relevant to nursing than other types of leadership, but some research has shown that there is no definitive theory that has emerged to guide leaders and there is no one style of leadership that is 100% more effective. Some nurses prefer certain types of leadership styles over others, but one study advises that leaders should be situational leaders. By being a situational leader, you have a healthy balance of keeping staff in line and following up on progress, but also keeping staff happy by giving them a little bit of freedom and asking for their opinions. Research Study 2. The second study I found was done on small organizations in Chile with the intent on finding out if different types of leadership styles were influential on the effectiveness of the company. The study found that out of 96 managers that took the survey, most companies used transactional leadership instead of transformational or laissez-faire. This study also showed that leadership styles did affect the effectiveness of the company. The study found that transformational leadership was a positive influence in the effectiveness of the company, whereas transactional and laissez-faire leadership styles were negative influences on the effectiveness of companies. Research Study 3. The third study also showed that no one type of leadership worked for every situation. This study was done in five different Ghana hospitals and it looked at staff morale, patient care, and nursing practice in general in relation to leadership styles of their managers. The study found that not many managers had taken classes in regards to style of leadership, so they didn't even know what type of leaders they were. The study also stated that leaders should be flexible based on each individual staff member, like a situational leader. The results of the study, study showed an increase in staff morale with participative leadership, which would be equivalent to a democratic leadership, and it showed that there was an increase in staff productivity with achievement-oriented leadership. Achievement order oriented leadership was used by leaders as they would share goals with their employees and everyone together would help to try to reach those goals. Conclusion. In this presentation we have talked about four different types of leadership styles including autocratic, democratic, laissez-faire, and situational leadership. Studies have found that there is not one perfect type of leadership that works best in all situations but instead that leaders should be willing to mold their leadership styles to each situation. Leaders should be bendable and flexible and change with their staff and what each staff member needs. Of the three studies used for this presentation, it was found that employee morale decreased with autocratic leadership, but that staff efficiency increased. It was also found that staff morale increased with democratic leadership, but their efficiency was not as high as it was under an autocratic leader. I believe the main finding of this presentation is that leaders need balance. There's a time and a place for leaders to take charge and have an autocratic leadership style, but there's also a time and a place when it's important for leaders to let their staff learn on their own and be a little bit more laissez-faire. Thank you for watching.